Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video is a very special video to me. This is my first ever sub 30 seed and I'm rerunning it today. This is a completely blind rerun. I didn't I didn't know anything about um, the seed prior and I haven't touched this seed in like two years. So like I've forgotten a whole lot about this seed. Uh, of course, this is not a regular RSG run. This is, as I said, a, a set seed played like RSG, but here I am spawning in the world. And, you know, off the start, there's there's nothing crazy, you know. But just like two years ago, I'm going to get up and I'm going to look on some trees here. And I would do this in a regular RSG run, too. But I see a good biome this way. It's um, Savannah and some planes, so I'm off that way. Um, this video, I'm going to try to stray away from explaining why this is the best play and more so how I've improved over the last two years. Um, now, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that my movement has improved quite a lot. Like, just watching the 2552 compared to what this run is, it, it, it's a whole lot better. I've undeniably gotten better at mechanics throughout these last two years. So I spot the village here. Um, just like I did in the run, I'm going to run up here. And my village routing has gotten a little bit better as well. I'm just going to grab hay bales as soon as I get in the vi village. That way I don't have to grab anything later. Um, now, one thing I did notice afterward when I was looking around is that there is actually a rune portal like behind the blacksmith by like 50 blocks. If I saw that, I would have entered through there, but I didn't. So, but I, I did see this blacksmith. So I'm just going to grab the chest. That is one of the best blacksmith chests you can ever get. Now, usually I'll be a bit stingy with the amount of obsidian I use in a run, um, but being that there's no other way of entry and you can't enter with 10 obsidian, I decided to use it, which is the exact same thing I did two years ago as well. So I'm just going to craft a diamond sword. You can see the, <laughs> the uh, stone axe coming out, as well as the gold shovel and the iron pickaxe. I don't craft a bucket here because I simply don't need one to enter the nether. I should have, though. This is... Just the play here is to kill the golem and just have the bucket. But um, I, I figured I didn't need it to enter the nether. So I'm just here. I'm going to grab three beds, and then I'm going to use the blacksmith lava to enter the nether. Um, which, again, is the exact same thing I did. My village routing has just gotten a whole lot better. And I actually used the same method of portal blacksmith that I did two years ago. Now I know a lot more about it, so I'm just going to mine out these two blocks, and it's going to instantly light. Now, in a regular RSG run, I would um, just copy my coordinate to my clipboard. However, this time when I get through eventually, I'm not going to do that because I have uh, my clipboard is already being taken up by the seed itself, because I'll just copy and paste the seed. However, this was actually the first rerun. There was no prior knowledge um, about the seed. So I'm just going to write down my coordinates here, and I don't remember a whole lot, of course, but what I do remember is that it was warped, and then I found a bastion, but I'm just going to run this way, run into some piglins, and I see the fort over here this way, and like the strangest spot ever, um, and I'm just going to enter the fortress from this angle, I'm just going to block myself off, and in the run I actually just ran into the warped, I didn't even think about running this way. But yeah, there was just, it was just better terrain this way. The warped was okay terrain, but and the crimson opened up, so that was definitely the way to run. Now here, eh, again, this fort, there's not really much you can do with it. Um, I, I see the spawner, I'm trying to get to it, but there's just so many mobs here. You have to block everything off, and there's a blaze this way, so then I have to like block myself in here, and then I get hit by a wither skeleton. I'm not having fun. But... Again, my goal here, just get six rods, get out. Uh, I think this run in particular, I did actually end up getting seven. But there's just so many blazes here that it's uh, it's pretty hard not to get seven. Yeah. And we'll see. Rates don't really go my way, especially at the end here. Uh, rates are, are doing okay here. But you can see there's there's more blazes. There's more wither skeletons. Uh, I'm not really having a whole lot of fun in this uh, fort, but that's all right. This is just like a, a regular RSG run now. And this seed itself, like, I think it's it's pretty fair to say this could be a sub-20 seed. Um, if I had better rates, 
um, and maybe some better mechanics. This could easily sub-20 even, like, if you're playing it randomly. Uh, rates just didn't go my way, and I should have probably killed the golem earlier, although I don't think that's an, an actual time waste. Uh, but here I'm just going to take down these last couple blazes. You can see I'm going to have five rods from this blaze here, and I'm thinking, okay, what do I do now? I'm going to go out, I'm going to kill this blaze, and then I'm just going to run back. Because I see that there's, there's this one here. And unfortunately, it doesn't drop a rod. Um, that would have been awesome if it dropped a rod. But now there's two more coming this way. And there's that, that fort's so open that unless you can like get to the spawner and like encase yourself there, there's zero chance, zero, zero chance that you're going to actually make it there safely, even with a diamond sword. But this blaze doesn't drop either. Wow. What's going on? So I have to just hop out for four seconds, <laughs> get a the skeleton in some places aggravated at me, and just and just uh, keep trying to get the sixth rod. I don't get it here. I think here I finally get it, and I kill this one for good measure, and it also drops a rod. So I'm out. I'm just going to run back the exact same way I came. And there was a the skeleton here earlier, but now there's not. So that's cool. To get this wood, and there, yeah, that piglin just says hi to me. But now is the thing that I didn't do in my 2552, and that was find good warp terrain, because I'm not exactly sure if Endermen were bad, or what was going on with Endermen at this point, but I just didn't play the warped. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I just wasn't exposed to warped uh, methods or anything. I don't know. But I'm just running around here trying to find good warp terrain. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is, again, just what I do in an RSG run. And there is good terrain this way. It's very flat, and there's not a lot of trees. And there's this over here that, again, on top here, it's also flat and doesn't have a lot of trees. So I have a brilliant idea that's going to be just set up right here. Again, this is not something I did in the run. Um, the run I'm talking about is 2052 again. Uh, not something I did, but... I figure, you know, in the present day, this would be the play, is to um, set up so you can see both the top and the bottom here. And I, I think this was this was a good play. Um, but here I'm going to absolutely die because of <laughs> rates. The poor rates are going to absolutely stink, unfortunately. Uh, but this is the reality of, of RSG speedrunning, is that um, sometimes this happens. You just look at Enderman... And you have a constant stream of them, and, like, none of them drop. Like, you can see right here, I have, like, five of them in front of me. And I'm going to spoil it a little bit, but after I farm them for, like, two and a half minutes, I'm going to have literally three ender pearls when, like, the average would have been six. It would have been, it would have been six and a half. I killed 13 endermen and got three pearls. That was the, the true rates here. Uh, but, again, that's, that's just the reality of RSG. <laughs> There's nothing else you can do here. Um... And if this was a real time and I really ended the run, um, this run would have been like a 20 something. I don't know. It would have been sub 21, but not sub 20. And, you know, at the end of the day, I would have been a little bit frustrated with this run because it could have been so much better. But again, that that's just RSG. That's all you can do. But the one thing I really want to highlight is how, how much better my movement has gotten. And um, my decision-making, I know, is still pretty lacking uh, compared to other runners. But uh, my game sense was always there, I'd say, from the start. So right here, three pearls. Three pearls. Isn't that cool? I got three. <laughs> I don't know what the chances of an Enderman, like, dropping the Warp Nihilium is, but... If it's if it's fifty fifty, I think I leave with like twenty something warp nihilium. So that could have been twenty something pearls when it ends up being I think fourteen. My movement has gotten a whole lot better. Uh, my knowledge has gotten a whole lot better. Um, I'd argue my even my game sense is pretty good. Um, although I guess my knowledge my knowledge has improved quite a bit. I mean, I I didn't know how to play a single bastion at Lord the Bridge. I remember this when I was on this run originally. Um, 
two years ago at this two years ago at this point in early 2022 february i remember um, i didn't know how to play any other bastion other than bridge um, if i got any other bastion i'd kind of just stand there and go oh i don't know how to play this even if i got a warped I, like i didn't really know what i was thinking like running rsg i didn't i didn't know anything other than how to play a bridge bastion the only reason i know how to play a bridge bastion is because i had a had a past in ssg before this and I, I was not a bad SSG runner, but, you know, it, it, I was just starting out, so <laughs> I was inexperienced, you can say. I wouldn't consider myself bad, though. Even for back then, I'd be like, yeah, yeah this guy might have potential or something. But yeah, this is just the reality of RSG, is you have to stand here sometimes and fight through really bad drop rates. I still have three pearls. There's no more pearls out there. So I just have to sit here and suffer. Yeah, I, I don't really know what I was thinking when I was like first playing this. It was like, I, I didn't know how to play any other Bastion. I didn't think Warp was viable. I don't really know how I thought I was going to get pearls. Like, I, I, I just don't. But... This run, this run spoke to me. It was my first sub-30. And it happened, I think, after like a month, maybe six weeks or so after I first started. And here I'm just going crazy. My mouse is like shaking up and down and whatnot. Oh, I'm mad at these Endermen. Again, just, I had no clue what I was thinking. Not a clue on how I was going to get pearls or anything. It was just, I don't know, man, start resetting. <laughs> but six weeks in, six weeks in, I get this seed that... Could sub 20 today, like, with with average drop rates, and I'm going to be honest, that, that Fortress, it, it's iffy if you spot that in regular RSG. I only spotted it because, you know, it was good terrain, you should probably walk that way and be aware of your surroundings, but you might miss that. So, who knows if, in reality, this seed can sub 20 today. Um, but with good drop rates and... Actually, even average drop rates and seeing the fort, I firmly believe it can. Although it, it depends on a lot of factors, I don't even know where the best warp spot is. Again, this is this is entirely, entirely a uh, random play. I don't know. And if, uh, if that wall wasn't there and that fort's uh, visible, um, this seed looks a lot better than. Because it's, like, kind of a wartress, kind of not. Because, like, the, the good terrain, at least the terrain I'm playing here that I, I think is good terrain, uh, is about 200 blocks apart or so. And right here, I'm kind of checking. I have 14 pearls. I decide, all right, I'm out. I don't need to play this anymore. And right here is all the Endermen I missed. I should have definitely set up there instead. But that's all right. You win some, you lose some. And that's just the reality of RSG. But I'm out, and here I just kind of forget what wide level my portal is at. So the portal is actually a, a layer lower at Y60. But here's me running up at Y80, like, where's my portal, bro? You know, of course it's not there. And actually, look, look at all these Endermen. I could have set up here, too. That would have been really nice. So it, it's here that I decided to look at my coordinates and go, oh... Dummy. Negative 33, 60, 32. And I look right at the centerman. I don't know why he doesn't get mad at me, but I'm not going to complain. Kind of dawns on me, yeah, okay. Yeah, you should not You should go down here. Again, my, my game knowledge and my mechanics have improved so much that that is what this run highlights, is that I can take a seed that two years ago I could not get sub-25 on and I can almost turn it into a sub-20. Which, yeah, okay, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, alright, that's like five minutes. You know, you've improved five minutes over two years on this seed. And yeah, okay, fair enough. But, <laughs> but I mean, you gotta understand, that is a quarter of the entire run. Um, so, that's nothing to scoff at. And it's not like it's SSG where there's, uh, where like the the more you play it, the like, 
your time will just go down like a whole lot. I remember one of my first SSG times was like really bad. I think it was 854. It was an 854 on uh, 564. And that was my first ever run. And I brought that down. I I brought that down to 4 minutes and 40 seconds, I think was my final PB on that. Now that does that does almost cut the original run in half. But with RSG it's a little bit it's a little bit different because my first PB in RSG was uh, 47 minutes, and then I had a 37 minute run, and then there my third ever completed RSG run was a sub 30. So and then two years later I play that seed and I'm five minutes better at it. So but Looking at my uh, original run, it, it's kind of hard to believe that there was five minutes of time saves just to be saved by mechanics and knowledge. So that is that is uh, something to highlight. But I'm out here, I'm running all the way to the stronghold, which doesn't end up being far away at all. Um, again, there is a ruined portal in the back of the blacksmith by about 50 blocks. Um, in reality, you're not going to see that in RSG, although if I were to play the seed again for SSG, or like a, I don't know, like an optimal time. There it is, 24 warp nylium. 24. <laughs> it, like, if the drop rate's 50-50, that could be 24 pearls. 24. Like, What? So yeah, I would set up at that uh, rune portal because it does have lava, and then just head right through, and then blind right into the stronghold. Um, that would be what I did if this, uh, if you guys told me, hey, you should probably play the seed like SSG, but I decided to play it like RSG because that is what the majority said. I'm not going to say I will not return to the seed and not play, play it like SSG, because I, th I think the seed would be pretty fun to play like SSG. Look at this, there's a spider jockey here. It's kind of funny. And the only reason I'm uh, I'm taking down all these spiders and these skeletons is hopefully for a uh, crit bug. I really don't like using pearls for crit bug, just because sometimes I'll, I'll throw them through the dragon. Sometimes that just happens. And then you get teleported to, like, the top of an insodium pillar and then die. Or you throw them and then you're, like, on the extreme outer edge of the end island or something, so... Uh, this is, again, just what I do in RSG is I'd, I'd kill some mobs along the way and try to get um, a bow. And I do remember here that I need buckets, so I am going to kill the golem. And look at this. It's on the path block, so it doesn't move. But notice I am at, like, Y100 and something, which <laughs> isn't good. Oh, that's all right, though. There's this cliff right here. I decide, screw it. I'm just leaving the crafting table here. I'm just going to do sprinks, and then I'm going to jump down. All right, and actually, it leads me this way to this block, and there's a zombie here, and I just decide, okay, I, yeah, I, I got to get out of here. Um, I don't exactly remember what block it I did sprinks on, so I kind of estimate that it was this block. And so I'm starting to dig down with the gold shovel here. And then the iron pickaxe. And then we're just going to get right down to the stronghold. Now right here I hit water, and actually I mine this block and look around and realize, ooh, that is the uh, the stronghold. Because um, of how the stone blocks are formed around it. So I decided to mine two blocks inward, and then just continue mining. And if I were to continue mining where I was, I would have hit the extreme edge of the stronghold, so... Wasn't entirely the wrong play. But here I'm just going to go through the portal. Or, yeah, the portal. The stronghold. Try to find the portal room. Eventually, I turn this corner here. And just run down. And it's, of course, the portal room. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whack the silverfish. Grab some lava. And just finish off the run. But this does highlight that I've gotten, I've gotten better <laughs> in the last two years. Um, it's... Um, you know, it's important too. It's 
it, it's always important to note that, that, hey, I've, sure, I'm not the world record holder, but I've gotten better, you know, and I know other runners have only gotten better as well. So, um, the ceiling, the ceiling continuously gets higher, though, so, um, that, that, that's the, um, the beautiful thing about speedrunning, is no matter how great you get, there's always going to be someone better, someone better than you. And even if you sit atop the throne and think you're the best one, oh, just you wait. Just you wait. Just you wait. Because if, if I ever sat there at a point and said, oh, I'm the best person in the world at getting sub-30s, I'm not going sit to sit atop of that throne for long, because then I'm going to stop learning. And once I stop learning, I, I'd be screwed. So, this really highlights how much I've learned in these last two years. Here we go. The one cycle that I, I didn't know how to do. <laughs> I didn't know how to do this two years ago. Yeah, I would I would like to use a, a minor cycle. What is that? You know, but there it is. That's the run. That's the run that highlights how much better I've gotten. So with that, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.